they just announced Windows AI Copilot. This AI model is going to revolutionize speech technology. AI generation is coming to Photoshop. So this image of an explosion at the US Pentagon cost a $500 billion market swing. Here are nine popular AI Chrome extensions with over 100,000 downloads. Here's the first AI robot to officially enter the office. They just announced Windows AI Copilot. This is the announcement video that they posted today. Introducing Windows Copilot right there in your Windows, integrated into all of Windows. So you can ask it questions just like Bing chat. And you can actually use them on system settings, which we haven't really seen before. You can add dark theme and actually change the settings with Copilot, which is kind of cool actually. Works with your documents. So now you can see it's actually putting the PDF inside there and ask it to summarize. This is very convenient. Works with all your apps. So. Spotify, chill vibes, brain focus. Wow, really cool. Very, very good. Stay in your flow and get creative. So here you can actually create logo templates inside of Adobe Express. Can you send this logo to the design squad and actually sending a message there? That's huge. Very, very good. Windows helps you get more done. Easy. Across all of Microsoft, Microsoft pay me for this. Windows 11. This AI model is going to revolutionize speech technology. This AI got trained on the Bible. And this AI model supports speech to text and text to speech for over 1,100 languages. Meta made a data set of readings of the New Testament in over 1,100 languages with an average of 32 hours of data per language. You can see all of these purple icons is already integrated into MMS. AI generation is coming to Photoshop. Look, you can actually just select the ground and take away all those black markers, then select the middle here and say yellow road lines. And just like that, you got the entire image done. And you can actually add more things on top of it to make it even better. You can get access to this right now as a beta user. All you need is an Adobe ID and update to the Photoshop beta version. So they've now added generative fill, but they're also going to add text effects. They're going to add text to image. They're going to add generative recolor and 3D to image. A whole new set of tools to dream bigger. We have text to Figma now. Look, just ask it, create a design system inspired by Airbnb with natural language and it starts creating the design system. It can create any arrangements of lines, shapes, text, etc. Assemble common UX patterns like forms, buttons and edit existing designs on top of generating arbitrary images with doll E2. And all it takes is natural language commands. So this image of an explosion at the US Pentagon cost a $500 billion market swing. This fake news was set off by a fake Bloomberg Twitter account with a verified check mark. Here is the original tweet. Luckily, the Bloomberg feed account has now been banned, but this is going to turn into a whack-a-mole game. Fake AI images, fake Twitter accounts and mainstream media not checking their sources is a recipe for mass media manipulation. And it's important to note that AI now is the worst that it will ever be. How are we as a society going to tackle this moving forward? Here is the first AI robot to officially enter the office. This is 1x backed by OpenAI that just outpaced Elon Musk's Tesla as the first humanoid robot in a professional environment. Their EVE robot has been integrated as a security guard in manufacturing sites. End to end from pixels to actions through a single neural net at 1x speed. The agility of EVE robot is astonishing. It can open doors and windows, seize objects, and perform tasks similar to humans. Prepare for a world where humans and robots work together.
I think it's going to be nice to have robots at the office, water cooler, talking gossip and taking smoke breaks, just roasting you for a new haircut. Introducing YouTube to chatbot. You can train a chatbot on an entire YouTube channel. The idea is simple. Build a highly functional chatbot trained on the entirety of a creator's content. Creating content is about to get significantly more valuable. The bigger your library of content, the better model you can make of your Self. So here's how it works. First, it scrapes transcripts from the entire YouTube channel. Second, it uses ChatGPT via Infinite GPT to clean the huge master transcript. Third, embeds the clean transcript into a vector database. And fourth, builds a pre-prompted chatbot that's connected to the vector database. Just remember that if you're going to do this, the chatbot might stop mid-conversation and ask you to smash the like button. Here are nine popular AI Chrome extensions with over 100,000 downloads. Number one is Scribe How. It has 500,000 downloads. Scribe AI creates detailed SOPs, help centers, user guides, and more for any business process. Number two is Magical. It has 300,000 downloads. Now, Magical is a free AI writer and text expander that automates repetitive tasks, all powered by open AI tools like ChatGPT and GPT-4. Number three is use ChatGPT. It has 200,000 downloads. You can use ChatGPT, Bard, Bing Chat, and Claude on any website without any copy pasting. Number four is Compose AI with 300,000 downloads. Compose AI is a Chrome extension that cuts your writing time by 40% with AI powered auto completion and text generation. Number five is Merlin with 700,000 downloads. It's a ChatGPT extension where you can use it anywhere in seconds. Number six is Conch AI with 100,000 downloads. Increase your workflow with a personal writing assistant to increase your productivity. Number seven is Perplexity's Ask AI with 100,000 downloads. It gives you reliable answers with sources. Number eight is Monica with 500,000 downloads. You can click on Control M on your keyboard and it just pops up a chatbot on the side of your screen. Number nine is HypeWrite with 100,000 downloads. It allows you to work smarter, faster, and with ease. They now have thought to video. It reconstructs fMRI brain data to create videos. They showed the participants the image on the left and they could reconstruct the video on the right based on their thoughts. Here is the machine that they're using, and this is a non-intrusive way of doing it compared to Neuralink putting a chip in a brain. Would I want to go into a machine like this? No. That's the end of today's AI news. Click here to watch yesterday's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.